Okay, so we're going to do a velocity tool holder that has a CAPTO interface for the tool. So I'm going to read in, and this solid came from the guys at Velocity. So this, any of this stuff is going to work with any OEM tool solid. It's just basically, you know, the procedure that you need to follow. So. Um, if I click off a solid, we'll see that uh, this solid actually, you know, the coloring of the solid, it's all uniform and gray. And the positioning of the solid is, looks like it's already positioned at the center with the face of the holder that interfaces with the turret. That's already positioned at the X, Y, zero point, and we can see that when we rotate the tool over. Um, additionally, the, so if this is the first video you're looking at, this holder interfaces with a lathe turret. This is the face that's highlighted that's gonna sit flush against the turret. So we want that being uh, normal to the blue Z axis. And the Z axis should point upward into the turret, which is correct for this solid already. Additionally, um, in terms of rotating this around Z, um, we want this component typically to be in the uh, direction facing toward the main spindle, and that's the red arrow. The red arrow on the UVW or XYZ, uh, the red points toward the main spindle. So looking at it, this is already in the positioning that we want. Everything is set, so um, unlike some of the other solids that we've seen in the past. So I'm going to actually leave this highlighted and change some colors. Because that's a separate solid, I'm just going to change the, the color of that whole solid. And then maybe, uh, let's see, this whole body here, not the face, this body. We're going to take... Well, let's maybe just do this one here on the end here, since that's separate. This will look cool. We can come in here and uh, we can pick a gray, or actually we could even just go to like a Windows standard function. We'll pick a, a darker gray so that uh, when we've done that, we've got some nice coloring. And with our coolant line, what I'll do is I, I like to pick this color here on all of the solids, so that looks pretty good. So this is nicely colored, it looks good. At this point, I just need to define the tool spindle axis, and we can do that by coming right here, and uh, the, the CAPTO tool is going to basically sit flush with this face. So since my XYZ you know, with the, when we define a tool inside of a spree, the tool holder is going to point up into the Z, uh, up into the turret as well. So this is the correct orientation. So I just need to translate that. And what I want to do is just, you can see the highlighting as I move it around. I want to pick it so that um, it's sitting right here. So when I digitize there, you'll see that because I had that face highlighted in green, it's going to place my UVW right at the center, flush with that face that the CAPTA holder would uh, appear. So we're going to go ahead and come here and say, add new plane. We're gonna call this TSA underscore one, and the TSA stands for tool spindle axis. So what that's going to do is create a rotary axis here which will also include a tool positioning point and a holder positioning point. And um, we're pretty much ready to go. I'm just going to click off the solid so nothing is grouped. And I'm going to come here to File, save this as a holder file. And we're just going to save that. And now we can test it on the machine itself. So we'll come to the machine setup, and I'll load an LB. This is an LB uh, 3000 series tool holder, 
and I'll zoom in on the turret. I'll turn off a couple things that we don't need. And we'll look at the turret there. Say OK. Go to Tool Assemblies. Right click. Add Adaptive Item. I'm going to pick that cross tool that we just created. I'm going to say Open. And the tool holder appears. And it looks pretty good. So now we can add a tool. So what I can do, since this is a C, uh, it's a C4. We see in the nomenclature here that they have C4. So I'm going to right click on that and say, well, actually, since we created a TSA, let me just show that we can add a milling tool directly to this, but we wouldn't get the collision checking of, you know, the capto, the capto holder. So. Um, you know, the, the extended length of the holder and everything, we can make this a lot more accurate by just coming here and adding an adaptive item. And I've come here and let's see where I've had, let's go to Rego Fix. I know I made some, some Capto C4s for Rego Fix and we see some different Capto holders here for C4. We'll pick this one. So that is nicely positioned right on the face of that holder. And then I can just grab this tool and move it to the end of the uh, collet nut. So we can build tool assemblies very nicely. So here, if I want to just edit this and change that to a different one, you know, we can see here that the tool is going to shift the appropriate length because when I created the individual modular uh, Capto C4 tool holder, I had my TA, my tool adapter position, always defined at the face of the uh, collet nut. So it's beautiful in the way that it works. You can just build your components exactly like you would on the real machine. And there we have it. Looks good. We've got our Akuma Blue with the velocity holder. Interfaces nicely with existing C4 Capto holders. And my tool appears in the right position.